Welcome to 5 Minute School and in this video we're going to be talking about protein synthesis and transcription and translation. So protein synthesis is a process where proteins are made from amino acids. Now there's 20 types of amino acids. Amino acids in general group together in chains to form polypeptides and these polypeptides are then arranged and folded to form a protein. The process of protein synthesis is where a cell makes a protein based on the message contained inside DNA. Remember that DNA is located inside the nucleus of a cell and proteins are made in the cytoplasm by ribosomes. So that means we need to relay the information from the DNA to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm to ensure the right protein is made according to the DNA. And this is where RNA is involved. One of the functions of RNA is to carry messages from DNA in the nucleus to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. The three main types of RNA are mRNA, tRNA and rRNA. mRNA is what is carrying the message from the DNA to the cytoplasm. tRNA transports the amino acids to the mRNA to make a chain. rRNA are in the ribosomes and they help to make the protein. Now how do DNA and RNA differ? So the sugar group which is in RNA is called ribose, whereas in DNA it's called deoxyribose. RNA contains uracil instead of thymine, and RNA is single-stranded, whereas DNA is double-stranded. Now moving on, protein is made in two stages. We have transcription and translation. In the process of transcription, this is where genetic information from one strand of DNA is copied into a strand of mRNA. So for this to happen, the DNA unzips, so an enzyme splits up the base pairs and the DNA double helix unwinds. Three nucleotides in the nucleus find their complementary base pair and pair up with the help from the enzyme RNA polymerase. A new backbone is formed so we have a complete RNA strand which is separate to the DNA strand. The next stage is called translation. This is where mRNA we form during the transcription stage forms a chain of amino acids with the help of a ribosome. This chain of amino acids eventually forms a protein. Translation occurs in three phases. We have the initiation phase, elongation phase and termination phase. Initiation is where the ribosome gets together with the mRNA and the first tRNA in the cytoplasm. Elongation is where amino acids are being brought to the ribosome by the tRNA and they start linking together to form a chain. Termination is where the chain of amino acids are released, so we have a sequence of amino acids which then form polypeptide chains and eventually into proteins.